Erica and I am the Cocaine Vacanza owner. My company um, is a, a company who go directly to your villas and your uh, holiday place in Tuscany for cooking classes and uh, private dinners. We go through our Tuscany as an itinerant bus from, I think, one year. We have also this uh, beautiful cooking school where we run cooking classes with our students and customers. Maybe another time we can make a round and so I show you how is this place. I, I'd like to show you this and uh, it would be my pleasure. Mm, today we are going to make uh, a recipe that is uh, uh, a very old and typical recipe from Tuscany. And uh, the name of this recipe is uh, Cantuccini. Cantuccini are biscotti and uh, uh, even the meaning biscotti uh, is double cooked. So this, uh, you have to, to remind this when you, when you see this uh, kind of recipes in the web uh, uh, about uh, uh, Italy and uh, some cookies that you can make uh, from Tuscany, for example. And uh, everybody loves uh, loves cantuccini, but there are many uh, bad things that you can find while you are cooking them, because they can be too hard that you can break uh, a bit, and uh, sometimes they can be too chewy when you eat them. So it's very difficult, in my opinion, to find a right balance between the crispiness, the crunchy, and the, uh, the softness that maybe you can have to find inside. Not, not soft, but not so hard. And um, I hope that today we are going to make this recipe with you, and I hope that uh, uh, you'd like to be with me during all the steps. And I want to show you, first of all, the ingredients that you need to make this uh, fantastic and delicious uh, biscotto. So the okay. first ingredients that you need are the almonds. Cantuccini are uh, cookies, biscotti with almonds. You can make also with nuts, but it is another thing. And this almonds, I want to tell to a friend that uh, is uh, far away now, the name is uh, Carlo, that is from Sardinia, and this almonds come mm, directly from Sardinia, so they are very, very uh, delicious almonds. They come from Monte Arcosu and from the uh, worldwide found Oasi in, uh, in Sardinia. It's not necessary that you have those ones, but it's important that you buy a good quality of almonds. Whole almonds, Possibly, as you can see, they are brown, so they have the skin. They are not peeled almonds. And you need uh, 200 grams of almonds in this case. So, um, I um, is a one and two slash five cups in American measurement. Then you need some flour. The, the flour that we are going to use and that we are going to use for any kind of desert in Italy is the double O flour. That is, in this case, you can see this. Tipo, that is kind, double O, O and O. Uh, the double O flour is different from the O or the one or the integral flour because it's the most processed, so it's the finest, the whitest. And in a, in, let's say more industrial, but it's very, very good and fine to make pastry, to make cookies and desserts in general. And for cantuccini, in this uh, proportion that we are going to make, we'll need one uh, pound of uh, double O flour. Another ingredient that we are going to, to use is the butter, that uh, during this uh, uh, streaming on Facebook, I chose to, uh, I decided to melt, and in this case, we are going to use uh, uh, 175 sticks butter, so in the uh, 
Italian uh, measurement, we need um, uh, 200 grams of no salted butter. And then we, we need the sugar, that in this case is uh, 350 grams of sugar, that uh, is uh, um, in, uh, in American is a two and three slash four cups of sugar, white sugar. Another thing that we are going to use will be the baking powder. That in this case we are going to use, show you, this is the Italian, but I think you have in your country many kinds of baking powder. And I need uh, 14 grams, so three teaspoons is uh, okay. If you have four eggs, is perfect because we need four eggs for the cantuccini and one yolk for uh, brushing them after when we are going to cook. And we need also a lemon. We we'll use a lemon zest. This is fantastic lemon from a lemon tree. Yeah? And so we use this. I hope that I mm, have not forgotten mm, the ingredient anyway. Remember that I write the recipe and everything uh, down to the, this Facebook streaming when uh, all is finished and, and so no problem to remind you everything. Um, I, I want to thank you also Ginevra that is my daughter that is uh, filming now this uh, streaming. I, it's difficult for me to see your comments um, so uh, you can anyway write and uh, she uh, could tell me how is um, how it's going and the, the, the questions that you are doing to me. So no problem, I, I'm uh, uh, looking forward to meet you and to hearing from you and to give you some suggestions. Carlo chiede se è la stessa farina che ho usato per le trofie. Allora, eh, no Carlo, per le trofie, um, I heal, for trofie, that is the hand fresh and made pasta, I use the semolina flour, so durum wet flour. That is different. When you use uh, flour for uh, cooking, mm, patisserie for uh, mm, cookies, pardon, or dessert, you use always the finest one. So the white, that is the double of flour. The same of flour is, is yellow, pale yellow, and this for pasta is the best for, for pasta, for making pasta. Poi ti salutano Kelly. Ciao Kelly, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Silvia. E saluto anche Silvia. Ciao Jolene. Silvia. Ciao a tutti, grazie. Gloria. Grazie. <laughs> uh, if you have questions, I repeat, you can rise. Eh? So let's, let's start with the eggs. In this case, I use uh, um, the two eggs because uh, I, I show you so the half quantity because it, we are in a Facebook streaming. Remember to uh, four eggs. Eh? But now the first thing that I want to do is uh, to chop the almond because many people think that you have two toast almonds and this is good if you want because uh, almonds um, are very good even toasted and when you prepare something is important that the, uh, the flavor is important so um, this uh, is a thing that you can uh, um, do without any kind of problem but it's not necessary in this recipe because there is the, the oven that will give a particular toasted flavor to this uh, to this uh, biscuit i want to show you how i cut the almond because i don't cut very thin but just coarsely and this is important because cantuccini need to have the mandorle the almonds almost wall inside Rachel dice che lei e, e Lincoln stanno cucinando con te <laughs> Rachel Rachel is preparing with Lincoln the cantuccini cookies. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy for this, and I hope you like also this version because I know that you are a professional about cantuccini, eh, Rachel? I know. So, guys, I want to show you this. So this is the way to cut. So they are almost whole. At this point. We go to take our eggs 
that's the first you know i'm using the half part just for the screaming yeah? Lock. Okay. And now the first thing that we are going to do is to whip the yolks with the sugar. What I suggest you, you can obviously use any kind of tool that you want, even even the, the blender, no problem. But and my granny, you have to, to know that to use it also make a fountain with the flour and after adding the ingredients. But in my opinion, it's very good that we start whipping with the sugar by hand. So we have a bit of sugar, just a bit, and we mix. So remember you put four eggs eh? for yolks. Go. We go again. And if you have question, I'm here because I want to show you how they have to become. This is the right way to take your whip. So you see it become pale yellow in a very small time. You see? So go again, just whipping, that's very important to whipping well. Anyway, as you can see, this is a good way. Katie chiede se può usare un mixer elettrico per battere le uova e lo zucchero o è meglio a mano? You can, uh, Katie, you can use the electric and there is no problem. Uh, I have also a, a recipe for electric. Anyway, the recipe is the same but the procedure is a bit different. You can use without problem. But I suggest you, for the first time, to go by hand because it gives a different texture and so when you are going to cook that is the, a bit difficult you can see the texture mm -hmm. and uh, you see it's very easy anyway yes you can without problem so at this point we have whipped uh, yolks and the sugar we can add our butter don't be afraid even if the butter is a bit warm this is not important but you have to mix fast so as you pour you go and you have not to be weak so you see everything is very pale yellow because you do it very strongly. Now we can add the almonds. So whipped yolks, sugar, then you add the butter, melted butter, and now this. You know that in, uh, in patisserie many times you don't use melted butter, but you use cold butter in very small pieces like for pasta frolla here in Italy. But it's very good in this uh, recipe to use the melted one. Because mm, it's a recipe that needs to be processed. Remember to share this streaming, guys, because this can be very useful for my company and for me. If you share this on, in, on your page, on, on your Facebook diary profile, okay? so. At this point, we can go with the flavor. This flavor 
is the lemon zest. I go grating this. Remember not put the white part because it's very bitter, but I am sure that most of you know this. Cristina Catoni ti chiede le dosi. Um, um, I give you all the uh, ingredients and quantity and amount down this recipe. Anyway, if you want to know um, a particular kind of uh, ingredient as a quantity or amount, ask me and I tell you. We have four eggs here, four yolks, after we we'll mount the, the white. We have the sugar and the, uh, in the whole is 350 grams of sugar. Then we have uh, one pound that is 40, 50, uh, 450, um, 450 grams of the flour and uh, uh, one grated lemon zest. With the flour, we have to use also the baking powder. That I told you, three teaspoon is okay. So it's the half part of uh, 14 grams. Lucy dice che ti sta guardando e finché i suoi occhi saranno aperti si godrà la sua dimostrazione. Lucy, Lucy from, from Australia, so she say, ah, if I, can, if I can be awake, I see there. Oh, Lucy, thank you very much, I appreciate very much. E Katie ti chiede se può non usare le mandorle perché ha un amico allergico. Of course, Katie, you can use the nuts. You can, use, uh, you can use hazelnut, hazelnut are very good with this uh, uh, recipe, but if your friend is allergic to old nuts, sì, you can use dark uh, chocolate drops, the, and the cantuccini are very good with the chocolate drops. So guys, I am going to put the baking powder together with the flour, hmm? in this way. It's always better to put the baking powder together with the flour. It's a, um, a kind of uh, a, a way of doing in the kitchen that is, uh, is very good and recommended. At this point, I go to put all these things over this. First and then we'll add the marsala in this case, but a sweet liquor is good enough. Another suggestion that I want to give you is always sieve the flour when you use it. Flour sieves give to cakes and desserts a, a, a more a starter. Give it more force, more flour is a, what best you can have in making a, any kind of dessert or when you bake in general. So this is what I'm going to do, and this is what we, we do even in patisserie. First two times I go with the flour and this, and then we have the wine. Why this? Because we have to uh, incorporate everything inside before to have another liquid. That could be too much. when you are sieving, that you can't imagine. Okay, and now before to have the last one, we switch off the oven, because after we have to put them here, Okay. 
and we're going to take the Marsala wine. You can use any kind of sweet wine to put inside your dough, but also limoncello, vin santo, vin santo is very good, anice, sambuca, any kind of sweet liqueur. But the sweet wine liqueur is good, and this, in my opinion, is very good. Anyway, I know also that you can find it abroad, like for making cannoli or other things, so I'm sure that you can find this. This is a dry one, but you can also buy a sweet one. Judy chiede a che temperatura è il forno. The temperature of the oven, thank you Judy for the, for the question, is 180 centigrade, so it's 375 Fahrenheit. And I, I, anyway, I tell you after when we put our notes inside. So, maybe this is too much, but I want to show you the color that is very brown, transparent. This is a very good liquor, and I hope to toast with you after with the cantuccini. So, the amount in the recipe is four tablespoons of sweet liquor. Now, the last part of the flour. And this is the step that is a bit difficult because we have to have the whipped white and it's very difficult to have the whipped white to this kind of texture. I don't know if you can see. This is a bit hard now, you see? is the crumbles. Usually when we go putting the, the whipped white, we have something very soft that is easy to incorporate. In this case, with cantuccini cakes, with cantuccini cookies is different. But this step, and so this I tell to, to Kathy and to everyone who want to make a cantuccini, this is the a part in which um, the cantuccini are different when you are going to heat them because they are delicious and not so hard because you have always had the end your white. So we leave this there and as you can see is different from one minute ago. Eh? It's more, it's a softer now. And pardon the noise, I have to whip the white. So guys, if you have any kind of question, ask me, I'm here. This will be very quickly, don't worry. recipe and uh, we think that they come from the soldiers. Roman soldiers in Spain and Italy already did cantuccini cookies in that time. Because you know, you know that in that time there were a lot of, uh, of uh, soldiers and the Imperio Romano as well. And uh, it seems that this sugar, there wasn't it at the start, but they were a heavy cookie. And this sugar comes um, in the, after the Medici, the, the Medici were in Tarsen, you know, and so after Caterina de Medici, um, there was the spread of sugar in the north of Africa and in Europe, and then they became a, a, a cookie and a, a dessert with sugar. So at this point, you see, very fast. At this point, we have this to our dough is not so thi um, thick and thick, but is not also soft. 
Hmm? Well, what is the trick? I want to show you the uh, Ginevra. I want to show you that uh, since it's difficult to have the whipped white, I want to show you how to do. You have to break. So you go to incorporate this over, and then first you break in some pieces, then you fold in this way. This is the right way to incorporate because otherwise you risk to have something too much liquid eh? and you uh, collapse the, the whites. So we are going to the other part with the other part of whites. I show you again. I show you again. We break in this way and then we fold okay i hope you like these uh, cookies this uh, biscotto because they are very very loved from children from kids but in tuscany they are love it from anyone and for the people as well even if sometimes they are hard so with this recipe you have a success because this recipe is very good and they are not heavy and they are not hard I want to show you another time the texture and with this in your case that you are making the recipe at home, you can make four loaves. I make two because I'm making the half part of the ingredients. So guys, look at here. Eh? So they are very soft, you can't take by hands. Huh? And you have also to remind that probably you can see they are ready when they are golden. But first of all, I want to show you the, the shape that you are going to make at the start, okay? So you have this tube. And we give a form like a loaf. Okay, these are fantastic with the chocolate drops, eh, Kelly? Kelly, sorry. Here too. So you see, you try to make one thing rectangular. It's very important that you give a shape not so large but a bit high hmm? in this way. This is a bit different from the other but they have not to be regular. It's just important that you make them Katie chiede quante gocce di cioccolato, una tazza per tutta la ricetta? Sì, I think uh, for uh, I don't know one uh, one cup if one cup is 200 grams, yes, you can use 150 grams each loaf. So when the 200 grams is okay, one cup is perfect in my opinion. At this point there is a trick, guys. You take 
one yolk. Sorry, my shoulder. You take one, one yolk because this is a, you know, that you have to brush uh, almost anything that you are going to use uh, before baking. But in this case, it's very important to brush because the first step of cantuccini is to see they are golden. So, you brush them with the yolks. And it's thanks to the yolks that they can be golden after a time. I often mix the yolks with some honey and in the recipe maybe I, maybe I wrote uh, two tablespoons of honey. You can use and uh, it gives a, a good flavor. Anyway, if you haven't, you can use just the yolk with no problem. So, as I told you, in this case, the yolks help you to see as they are golden. Because the first step is to put this in the oven now and we leave them 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Of course, I have other that I want to show you. Because we have to wait, they are just golden. So, I show you all the steps. Um, an important thing, don't be um, worried that they collapse because cantuccini to be good they have to collapse in the center not just like a pizza but they have to enlarge and so they they didn't um, they will not maintain this shape but they will be larger eh? So we put them here and uh, surprise, I have the other that I took up. After 20 minutes, I show you how your cantuccini will be and when you have to put out of the um, oven your cantuccini. Eccoli. So you see, they are very large now. I already cut one and I left one whole. So this is the right color. Ginevra, I want to show the right color. Yes? So you can see. And the eggs, the yolks, help you very, much, uh, very well to, um, to see the right color of, uh, of cantuccini. At this point, there is the other step. When you take after 20 minutes your cantuccini that are golden like this, you have to wait that they are warm because they are very hot when you take off the oven. You have to wait they are warm and after you have to cut. In my case that I had to demonstrate to you and to show you uh, Facebook streaming, I couldn't. So I already cut one and the other I left in this way. So we'll see together. But my suggestion is never do what I'm doing. So always when they are warm, you have to, to, to cut. When you see they are big, you can divide. So you cut first in this way, and then if they are very long in the other way, and then, guarda Ginevra, you take your cantuccini and you put on this side up. Look at me, in this way, in this way. This is a whole almond, so it's very didactic to see this. 
I'm sorry you, you can't you can't smell as always when we are filming something. So we try with these two guys. And this will be a bit difficult. I want to show you. Because now it's cold. Look at huh? So you go one centimeter and a half and you cut obliquely. Hmm? In this way. The almonds are very hard, so it's a bit difficult, but these are wonderful, eh, guys? In this case, I can go also diagonally. Okay. Did you put them in the middle rack in the oven? Um, the... Uh, the rack I put in the middle but not too much down because they have to be golden so not in the high part but uh, middle up <laughs> okay so this is the half cooking of campuccini because we cut them you see these are these are wonderful but very soft you see so we can with our fingers huh? so we put this in the tray in this way and so remember this part has to be up huh? now we we don't have a, a big tray because it's a there are the others, but at this point, I want to show you, at this point, it's very fast. We have just to put this in the oven, and this time we put them in the middle, so this time we have not too golden, but just to take the crispiness, because they are cooked outside, also inside, but not so much. And so we go in the oven again with this. Look at the other. They are almost collapsing in the center. We can put this a bit outside. just have to wait uh, five minutes maybe ten minutes but no problem at this point because it will be very fast to prepare the cantuccini if you have question I'm here and uh, I can answer to everything you you need from me mm, I'd like to, to tell you that the, an important thing is uh, to remind uh, to brush always with the yolks. Eh? So remind this because to, to, to brush with the yolks helps you very much um, further more uh, at, the, at the start for the first time that you are going to make these uh, this cookies. Because it's not so easy the first time that you make a cantuccini have a, a good result. In fact, uh, I am a bit, a bit crazy <laughs> to make this in a Facebook, Facebook streaming because usually you can make a video cooking class or something that you, after you can edit, but uh, a, a Facebook streaming is uh, very difficult because you need the oven to bake them and so after is, uh, is not so <laughs> recommended. But we, we can try because I'd like to teach everyone and to show you 
how uh, they are made because they, they are very typical and you can find these just in Tuscany because they are a very old cookie from Tuscany. And uh, um, I'd like to show you also a, a very interesting book that is this. This is an Italian book, it is uh, La Fame e l'Abbondanza, that is uh, the culture of food, is translated with the name The Culture of, of Food in English. And the author is uh, Massimo Montanari. And uh, with, in this book there is the story of many uh, dishes, foods, or how the, the food changed uh, in the, during the years. Lucy dice che vorrebbe sapere dove ha imparato a parlare l'inglese così bene. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Lucy. It's not true yet. Yeah, no, uh, just at school. In Italy we go at school and we, um, we uh, take uh, English lesson when we are at school uh, from, the, from when we have uh, 11 years and until the university. You study always the English. So just at school, uh, two times a week. Uh, Judy chiede qual era il nome del liquore che hai usato. Allora Judy, I, here I use the Marsala. Marsala, uh, maybe you know Marsala because this is the liquor that we use in cannoli, Sicilian cannoli, in ricotta when we make Sicilian desserts and, and cakes, um, and is the wine. It's a sweet Italian wine that can be dry as well. But in this kind of recipe, you can put any kind of wheat liqueur that you can find. Even a friend of mine put inside the cherry liqueur and they were very good. So you can choose everything. If you want to be original, you use a dessert, an Italian dessert wine like Limoncello or Marsala or Vincanto, Zidibo, Malvasia, many. Okay, they are almost ready, guys. Meantime, I want to show you how they are flattening in the center. Huh? So this is important to, to, to see, because when you, when you are going to make this, everyone always, even in, during our cooking classes in Tuscany, they tell me, oh, they are collapsed, I can't uh, have my cantuccini, they are destroyed, I have to throw. No, this is the right way. So um, maybe, uh, Rachel, you have uh, another way to, to make them. Maybe you have a, a loaf that will still remain compact uh, in case uh, just uh, let me know. But in this case, with this recipe, we need to that they collapse in the center. No problem. Don't worry if you see this because it's a, a, a very good uh, um, way to understand that they are good when they collapse. Ok, a questo punto, at this point, I can take off them, so this is very fast. When you see at home, if you maybe need more time, obviously, you leave them. Of course, we are in a Facebook streaming and uh, I take off them, but I cook it very well. After I wet, they become cold, so I'm sure there is a, a not a damage if I, if I take off now. Eh? Lucy dice, la ricetta originale non avrebbe usato il cioccolato, credo. Quindi, cosa può essere un ingrediente tradizionale da mettere? Mi sa che non ha capito che dice. Mm. Ma... Ok, Lucy. So, these, uh, these uh, cookies are with uh, almonds. So, you use almonds inside these uh, biscotti. These are whole almonds that I cut uh, coarsely chopped with my knife. So, uh, this is what the original recipe call, calls for. If you are friends that uh, don't uh, eat uh, almonds or nuts as uh, the, the cat is once, uh, you, have, you can use the chocolate drops because it's, they are very good with chocolate drops as well. 
Now we we need to wait. They are cold, but I just took away these pieces, and I hope we can toast together, guys. So I like very much to to have a toast together with you. Hope you have your sweet liqueur or your liquor at home. If you have, run to take a glass, a small glass, even one tablespoon, no problem. Something small, but I want to be with you together to, to have a drink and to, to, to hope that uh, things will change uh, um, soon and uh, everything will be better in a few days. Salute! Salute! Sorry guys. Salute. I hope to, to meet you another time for another virtual cooking class. I hope this was uh, interesting for you. Don't forget to share uh, this uh, Facebook uh, streaming uh, um, on your page or on your profile. Hope you like the recipe. Let me know how is this recipe and uh, hope to meet you again and keep in touch. Ciao a tutti!